अरे वाह मैंने सुना तुम्हारी बेटी सी करने का सोच रही है नहीं नहीं उसने तो अभी टेंथ ही पास किया है तुम सी का कैसे बोल रही हो ओहो शी इज टेक इन कॉमर्स राइट आफ्टर टेंथ नाउ वट विल शी डू शी विल डू सी ओनली वॉट एल्स ऑप्शन डू वी हैव आफ्टर ट्वेल्थ ऑलमोस्ट एवरी स्टूडेंट हु टेक्स कॉमर्स हैज हर्ड दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन इन हिज लाइफ पीपल वेन दे डू बी कॉम आर ऑफन लेफ्ट विथ नो चॉइस इन टर्म्स ऑफ करियर एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू डू सी ए बट फ्रेंड्स डू यू नो दैट देर आर सो मेनी करियर ऑप्शन विच बी कॉम स्टूडेंट्स डोंट इवन नो अबाउट So friends in today's video I'm going to talk about 10 career options after BCom. The first 5 are very well known to the society but the last 5 that I'm going to share are very less known to people around you. But the funny part is that the last 5 ones are more lucrative and kafi high paying career options. So please stay tuned with me till the end of the video to know all the possible career options that are available right in front of you after you pass BCom. So The first career option is investment banking. अब investment bankers कौन होते हैं Investment bankers give financial advice using their analytical skills to companies when they are raising funds or when one company is getting merged or acquired by another. There are a lot of VCs or venture capitalists who invest in companies or startups. But friends, investments are done following some method after analyzing the company's financial standing. So that's that kind of analysis is done by the investment banker. Then there are private equity firms. Now what they do is that they take money from investors and invest their money in promising startups and companies. Now to analyze which are these companies which are worthy of investment and investment bankers comes into the picture. For example, Blackstone is a very popular private equity firm in India. Friends, the next career path is the traditional CA, CMA, CS. Now let's see what is the role of these three professionals. First of all, as a CA or a chartered accountant, you have three options. First, you can start your own practice. If you are someone who has great networking skills and technical skills also, you can start your own practice and people earn a lot of money. You can earn more than 50 lakhs a year. Paisa hi paisa hoga. Then you can also work as a finance consultant. That is an auditor or a tax consultant with an auditing firm. For example, the top 4 companies are commonly known as the big 4 are KPMG, Deloitte, PwC and EY. You can work in departments like audit, in uh, assurance, the direct tax corporate tax risk management corporate finance financial due diligence etc thirdly you can work in a company as a in house accountant and help them with accounting bookkeeping making of financial statements statutory compliances and helping the company with audits etc friends please remember that passing percentage of ca is extremely less and the syllabus is very vast However, if you plan well and your concepts are strong, you can easily crack it. In the big fours, you typically have a package of INR seventy thousand per month, and there is no limit to the salary hike. There are also hefty bonuses too. Next comes CS or company secretary. The company secretary is an in-house legal expert and compliance officer of company. He is expert in corporate law, security law, capital market, corporate governance. Friends, CS is responsible for all regulatory compliances of company. The salary range for CS is similar to CA, a little less sometimes. You can start at around fifty to seventy thousand in a good corporation and then climb up the ladder. Now comes CMA or Cost and Management Accountant. A CMA helps businesses manage their finance and wealth and take financial strategic decisions. You can earn around thirty to forty thousand per month as a CMA in India. All these courses have three levels: the foundation, which is the entrance exam, intermediate, and the final exams. Along with clearing these exams, you also have to undergo professional training. In case of CA, the aspirant has to do three years of training before their final exam. In case of CA, the training period is of fifteen months, and in case of CMA, the internship duration is of ten months. Friends, the next career option is CFA or Chartered Financial Analyst. This is an American course. A CFA is a certified investment professional who provides investment guidance and portfolio management for individuals, businesses, and other organization. These professionals can work in institutional investment firms, broker dealers, insurance companies, pension funds, uh, banks, 
universities there are three levels to do cfa also just like ca level 1 2 and 3 by the way it's a very very expensive course just to tell you and if you want to do it you should be ready to spend around 2 to 4 lakh rupees on it secondly you cannot mug up anything in fact in all the commerce courses you just cannot mug up anything you need to have strong command over your concepts because when we talk about core finance there are a lot of formulas which a mugger won't be able to remember for long but if your basics are clear you are good to go in india the average salary of cfa is around 8 to 9 lakhs per year a lot of private equity firms and venture capitalists keep on hiring cfas you can also go abroad because it is recognized in america this degree is recognized in america unlike ca in fact as i stated before it's an american course friends the next career option is llb chaliye ab baat karte hain llb ki it's an integrated four year course it means that in four years you are done with bcom as well as llb sometimes students even pursue it after completing their bcom करियर अपॉर्चुनिटी की बात करें तो लॉयर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड एवरीवेयर यू नो यू कैन स्टार्ट योर ओन प्रैक्टिस आफ्टर बिकमिंग अ लॉयर और यू कैन इवन जॉइन अ कॉर्पोरेशन इफ यू हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग एनालिटिकल स्किल्स इफ यू लव डिबेटिंग दिस इज द पाथ फॉर यू बट फ्रेंड्स ओनली परस्यू इट इफ यू हैव पैशन फॉर इट दीज डेज स्टूडेंट्स गेट अट्रैक्टेड टू एल एल बी आफ्टर वॉचिंग दीज नेटफ्लिक्स सीरीज लाइक सूट्स एंड देन दे रियलाइज दैट दिस फील्ड इज नॉट एज ग्लैमरस एज इट इज शोन ऑन दैट टेलीविजन स्क्रीन ऑफ योर्स friends the next option is mba or masters of business administration to do an mba from a reputed institute you need to sit for a competitive exam like cat if you want to polish yourself enhance your personality and management skills this is a brilliant option for you this way you can easily get a managerial role in any mnc or any corporate house all big companies need mbas because the workforce is huge you can do mba in marketing finance hr accounting healthcare strategy and many more however one important thing here is that it will only make sense if you do mba from a reputed college a lot of my friends have done mba from grade b or grade c colleges and they hardly earn 3 or 4 lakhs a year plus you also have to see that mba involves investing a lot of money so if you are ready to spend 6 to 8 lakhs per year only then get into mba and after that if you don't get a good paying job when you do it from grade b b or grade c college it won't really make any sense so it's always advisable do it from iims or top colleges in india it all boils down to your cat scores and your gmat score if the career options that i have shared with you didn't attract you so much so far don't worry keep watching this video because i am going to now share five other career options which are still open for you and which will pay you really well but before i talk about it if you are new to this channel then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every sunday as soon as i upload a new video you the first one to know about it we are proud to share we are india's largest youtube channel right now in the field of ugc net exam preparation friends the career path number 6 is mcom people think that it's a useless degree they think it's a regular course but if you're really interested in academics or teaching then it's a good place to start with along with mcom you should always think of clearing ugc net if you do these two things together then you get an opportunity to become a professor or a lecturer in any university or college across india and friends professors get really good salary packages if i talk about good universities in india professor salary ranges between 1 to 1.5 lakh per month with mcom you can also clear the pgt exam and become a teacher of 11th and 12th grade people think that only doing bed and bcom will be enough for becoming a teacher but no friends if you want to teach 11th and 12th grade you would need a masters degree you would need mcom along with clearing the pgt exam just your bcom and bed won't help if teaching as a profession attracts you here is something that i want to share if you are preparing for ugc net paper 1 or paper 2 commerce or management i have some amazing news for you 
we offer detailed online video courses for all these exams. In our online course, we provide you with topic-wise video lessons with rich animations covering all the topics in step-by-step -step manner which works even when you've not done any previous preparation. We also provide you high quality PDFs and revision notes that cover syllabus wise topics comprehensively and ensure you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt. Along with video lectures and PDF, we also offer test series that consist of more than 3000 unit wise questions that comes with detailed explanation. Plus, after every test, you get detailed performance report and your ranking in all India leaderboard, which will help you spot your weak and strong areas. We cover all these important topics uh, in our online course, the detailed list of which is given on our website arpitakarva.com as well as on our other website devyuk.com free of cost. Even if you are preparing for these exams on your own, we would highly recommend you to visit our website and download this detailed list of writers and check out the solved past year papers of all these competitive exams. The link of our websites and all our courses are given in the description box below. You can check out the course details from our website and even watch free demo lectures and attempt free demo mock tests before you decide to enroll in the course. For more information related to the courses we offer, feel free to shoot your queries on the WhatsApp number displayed on your screen and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Now friends, we move on to the next very interesting career option available after BCom and that is digital marketing. There's a huge boom in this industry right now. From validating a brand online to putting its entire branding in place, from creating and expanding its digital presence including social media marketing, performance marketing, SEO, content writing, YouTube SEO, a digital marketer is a master of so many trades. Closely connected to digital marketing is graphic designing. Because COVID has made everything online, every brand needs logos, creatives for their social media, visual ad, banners, basically all the marketing collateral or graphic designer is the most important person. Do you see the menus in cafes and restaurants? There is a graphic designer behind them. Behind every website, there is a UI UX designer for which we need a graphic designer. Related works in this field includes animation, making GIF, video editing, and so on and so forth. Then you can also become a content writer and write for B2B or B2C companies. I know that there's a perception that content writers in India don't earn well, but friends, with the right knowledge, right skill set, networking knowledge, you can also work for international brands. There are so many well-established content writers who are hardly 23, 24 years old and are earning 3 to 4 lakhs a month. So if you want to put in the hard work, then sky is the limit. And for these skills like graphic designing or digital marketing, you don't need a degree or you don't need to go to college. You can learn these skills online for free. You can start as a freelancer and later on as you grow, you can even start your own company. Before we move ahead, a small reminder for all of you out there. Yes, you. If you are finding this video helpful, then please like this video by giving it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions. Next in line is MCA or Masters in Computer Application. Now again, this is a master's degree that you can pursue right after your BCom. The value of this degree is going to be reflected in the upcoming times. Because as I said that everything is going online, every company needs a website or a mobile application. And this is increasing the demand of app developers day by day. People who can code and make applications, they are in huge demand right now. When you do MCA, you get acquainted to program knowledge like HTML, WordPress, Java, C++. And there's a huge demand worldwide for Indian developers. And they also get paid very well in dollars or pounds. In fact, you can take foreign projects as a freelancer and get paid on per project basis as well. Friends, next comes my favorite career path of being an entrepreneur. Friends, this career path has the most potential in the world. Yes, in the world. I will tell you how. I take a lot of pride in telling you that I'm an entrepreneur. And as an entrepreneur, your life is very challenging because you start your own company, which is just like your own baby. You have to nurture and feed that company each and every day. There are so many challenges that keep popping up, but the rewards are also great. I have an edtech platform and I am also a YouTube content creator. YouTube is amazing if you have knowledge to share. 
In fact, post a certain level, it also gets monetized. If you are passionate about something, you can definitely put a business model around it and become an entrepreneur. If you like to travel, you can become a travel vlogger and start your own YouTube channel. You can collaborate with other creators, earn a lot of money through sponsorship, through brand deals. Friends, some people also do startups. They start with an idea, make a company, then the investors put valuation on their business, their businesses become unicorns and they become millennials. For example, Ritesh Agarwal, Oyo's founder, was hardly 18, 19 years old when he started Oyo. And this boy became the youngest millennial. So, like I said, there is a lot of hard work, so many challenges, but then rewards are also plenty. So it all boils down to what exactly you are passionate about. If you know what that is, then there's no one stopping you. Find out the career option that will suit you the best and work hard. You will find out that there are so many opportunities knocking your door and you just have to remain sincere and dedicated. Finally, we move on to the last career option that I have in plate for you and that is foreign language trainer. It's a very different career option, friends. Zada kabhi aapne suna bhi nahi hoga, na zada logo ne aapko kabhi bataya hoga. Not a lot of people will tell you about this opportunity because unko bhi nahi pata hai. But this is a very flourishing and lucrative career. Also because in this current age of digitization, all the countries are coming together. Sitting in India, you can watch French and Korean movies on Netflix. Through the internet, we can work with people from whichever country we want. And friends, there's a huge need for translators to translate books, journals, web series, documents, agreements and what not. You can learn foreign languages online, then can appear for any exam to showcase your proficiency and become a foreign language expert. And this career is an extremely high paying one. Because in India, very few people know any other language apart from Hindi, English and their regional language. People who are proficient in French, Spanish, German are in high demand. And because the supply is very less, the salaries are lucrative. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, any doubts, feel free to put that in the comment section. I would be more than happy to respond to your comments. With that note, I would like to take your leave. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com.